hackers, welcome to another Hacker Remanent video. Let's install Mythic C2 server today. We're going to focus for this first video on the installation of the C2 server itself. And in the next couple of videos of this playlist, we'll go over configuring the listener as well as generating the payload so we can run it from the attacker machine. For now, let's jump into the Mythic C2 server repository. We can copy the link so that we can clone that repository. First, we'll want to make sure we have some prerequisite packages installed. I already have them installed. That's why the installation completes immediately. Then we can clone the repository. Once the repository is fully cloned, we can see the into it and proceed to compile Mythic. Once compilation is complete, we'll want to install the HTTP C2 listener profile as well as the Apollo agent. Do Mythic CLI start. After the Mythic C2 has been started, we can navigate to the web UI console, but first we'll want to make sure that we have the mythic C2 admin and the mythic C2 password for the web UI. We can get those from reading the environment file for mythic underscore admin password and mythic underscore admin underscore user. Let's go to our web browser and here we can open mythic web UI on port 7443. 